If you're into RC, you're probably familiar with the Durango name, but what you may not know off the top of your head that their tagline is serious about racing. Now this makes perfectly good sense if you're a racing company and all you offer is 10 scale and 8 scale nitro and electric race vehicles. But recently Durango announced that they're going to offer RTR vehicles. And again, this makes perfectly good sense in the RC world. RTRs are in high demand. But we can't help but wonder how a race company is going to be able to pull off their first line of RTRs. So we are incredibly thrilled when we got sent a new DESC 210 RTR short course truck. And I got to tell you, it makes a great first impression. The body is definitely race worthy. It comes highly detailed, it's a good looking body, the graphics are great, but all the holes to make it a high flow body are included, so you don't have to replace the body to get rid of that parachute effect, or you don't have to cut it up like Swiss cheese. It has a bunch of indentations in pockets already molded in that you could easily cut out, just like any of the aftermarket high flow bodies. Durango also did a great job with the electronics. The biggest clue that they are still serious about racing is that the motor is a 13.5 for one, but more importantly, it's censored. That means they are indeed serious about racing. Race motors must be censored motor. They offer much better throttle feel and far better control. Also, the radio system, while fairly basic and familiar to RTRs, it's 2.4 gigahertz. Again, it's totally appropriate to take this to the track and expect to find no difficulties with the radio system. The servo is plastic geared. So you can run that, eventually it will probably break if you are racing the vehicle or bashing around, but it's totally appropriate to get you started and easily replaced. The kit tires are fairly basic, typical RTR tires, and Durango has done a pretty good job of splitting the difference between what we expect in an RTR and what we really want out of a company that is touting that it's serious about racing. The tires will last, most people will probably never realistically race this, but tires are going to be replaced in anybody who's looking to go to a track. Whether you buy a kit version of this vehicle or the RTR, you're probably going to replace the uh, tires anyways that better suit your track. If you're not familiar with the DESC 210 line, the RTR version is very similar to the full kit version. It offers big bore, very high quality threaded body aluminum shocks the two-wheel drive drivetrain, and instead of having dog bones, even though it's an RTR, Team Durango includes universal drive shafts in the rear. The front shocks are mounted behind the shock tower, which is reminiscent of the design that was pioneered with the team associated B4. And the entire steering assembly is angled up the servo and bell cranks to match the angles found in the front arms. So it's very smooth, responsive steering that works without any binding or weird steering and suspension characteristics or geometry changes throughout the entire suspension travel. The plastics are all very high quality, and there are already a ton of aftermarket parts available for this vehicle. They're very popular with club racers, and a number of pro racers have also done very well with these vehicles. The electronic system offered is a Team Durango receiver, radio, and servo, but the speed control and motor are from Speed Passion, so these are high-end, well-known, competitive brands. I hope this first look has given you a taste of what's been put into the Team Durango DESC 210 RTR, and make sure you check out the full review at RC Truck Stop.